what's going on guys your boy legit shooter back at it again with another video and um this is a special request from one of my subscribers he asked me to uh show you guys how to set up the uh ps3 navigation controller to the scene for as you guys can see it right there anyways uh it's actually really easy guys but uh let me tell you a backstory before um I tell you guys how to do it so when I got my sim 4 I wanted to learn how to use a keyboard and a mouse which is beautiful mouse best mouse out there uh, the G303 anyways I wanted to learn how to use the keyboard right and I could not I could not learn how to use this fucking keyboard guys to me it's so fucking hard because I never played uh, PC games before but anyways end of story so this is how you're gonna set it up here's the navigation controller is uh, plugged in uh, via USB cable and here is the scene for anyways this is where the cables goes this cable right here uh, where the three dots is you're gonna plug it in. Oh, I have to clean that shit. Look at that. Anyways, you're gonna plug it in and it's gonna run from here to your PS4 controller, guys. That's where it's gonna go to, okay? From here, from your PS4 controller, it's gonna run to the three dots on your SIM 4. Okay, so this is the power cable, which is gonna run to your console, right? Don't worry about this cable. That's just for my dual uh, navigation, PS3 navigation charger, because I have two navvies. Anyways, that's for the power cable. So anyways, and then you're going to have your mouse. It's going to be right here where the one dot is. It's a little dot right there. I know you can see it. That's the mouse right there. So what are, what is this? Are you probably wondering? This one right here is the USB connector to the PS3 navigation controller so you guys don't see the cable because I ran that underneath the table to have a better cable management but this one right here where the I think it's a uh, two little dots there's two little dots right there there you go it focus it's two little dots and that's gonna be your USB connection to your navigation controller so pretty simple right so anyways you're gonna turn on your ps4 make sure you powered it from the power button and then uh all the lights on your navi they're gonna start well i mean once it's paired because you have to pair it to uh to your phone or to your device whatever so once you've done all, everything that's what the the steps to set it up is for okay um there's a lot of videos on how to pair it uh, how to download the app and all that stuff so once you've done that you're gonna have uh you know you got this is x on my thing right there and um you're gonna have a navigation controller right so once uh you turn your ps4 on you're gonna press this one right here and then it's gonna start working it's gonna start working it should start working and once you get this right here uh, just go to the uh, to the app on your phone and just set up uh, your your commands like what do you want the L3 to be this one this one this one this one it's really easy guys I'm gonna post this video it's probably not as clear as you guys want it to be but it's actually pretty easy like i said all you have to do instead of the keyboard being plugged in right here you're gonna plug in the uh, the ps3 navigation controller usb cable to it instead of this one this is the ps3 navigation controller this one right here the charger the usb charger anyways so once you've done that you're just gonna turn it on and turn on your navi controller and from there this should auto uh, automatically start working really simple guys anyways if you have any questions don't be shy to ask i'll reply within a day the latest 
but I'm always um, watching my notifications. Pretty simple things. Uh, if you guys want my settings on how I jump, how I run, how I aim and all that stuff, let me know in the comments below. If this video gets 20 likes, I'll post the video on my settings and I'll share them with you guys. Anyways, till next time, your boy Legit Shooter. Peace out.